Hey guys, it's Joy here and welcome to set. Today we're going to be doing a different video all about filming and getting your backdrop game on fleek. So today's video is brought to you by Savage Universal. They provided me with all the seamless paper that we're going to be using today. If you're interested in getting some of the materials that I show you, go to the description box because everything will be listed below. Today I'm going to be showing you how to have an awesome YouTube studio setup at home with only seven items. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and thumbs up this video. Leave a comment below telling me what brand of camera you have, whether it's iPhone, Canon, Sony, Panasonic, let me know. So the first thing that you're going to need is seamless paper. Seamless paper is going to give you that professional background look and it's also going to be smooth and free of wrinkles. So for my setup, I use the 53 inch rolls from Savage Universal. I have the following colors. I have a pink, blue, yellow, super white, and green. The specific links to each of these colors and names will be in the description box so you guys can get them for your setup. It's super easy to get your hand on some of the seamless paper at savageuniversal.com. All you have to do is click on their seamless paper link and then you're taken to all of the colors that they have available. You can choose the colors based on your video project or just have some essentials at home. I recommend getting a white and some great colors that you're going to use. So I chose to get the coral, which is the pink color that I have, and I have it in the 53 inch, which is a great setup for YouTube. And it's $30 for one 53 inch roll. Next, you're gonna need a stand to hold your seamless paper. So I have this easy to put up plastic stand. Savage Universal sells stands. You can also get them on Amazon and other shop places. So another thing you're going to need is a stool. This stool is just a basic stool and it's just gonna be what you sit on to get your filming done. The next item is your lighting. So I like to use a ring light when I'm shooting with these backdrops because it helps illuminate the backdrop in my face. So this is what it looks like if I was going to film without my light. And this is what it looks like with it on. That's a huge difference. So when you go to film, you wanna adjust the camera to make sure the background is full and then you're ready to go. So the next item you're going to need is your camera. I use the Panasonic Lumix GH4. If you're interested in learning more about this camera, go to the description box below. And attached to my camera, I have my Rode microphone, and I set up my camera in front of my ring light, and then I have that pointing directly to my stool and backdrop area. My camera and my light are both on stands. I have a lighting stand that came with my camera, and I also have this tripod that goes with my camera. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to upgrade your video backdrops using seamless paper. Thanks to Savage Universal, you can now get all of these colors in your seamless paper using the links in the description box below. So I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.